Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Animate tutorial, formerly Adobe Flash. I'm going to show you how to use motion tweens inside Adobe Animate. And I'm also going to show you some options for easing, uh, using the graph here as you can see, and uh, just some more advanced stuff with uh, motion tweens. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly hit play, and when I hit it, you'll see how it started slow up at the top here and then it accelerated down here at the bottom so we've got it eased in at the beginning we've also made some adjustments to the stent to the motion path you'll see here it's kind of squiggly and instead of going straight across it goes in a little bit of an arc I'm gonna show you how to do all that stuff so let's just go in and start I am going to delete that layer like I just did there and presto we've just got three seconds of nothing we've just got just some keyframes First step here is you want to go ahead and create a new layer. And I'm going to call this one Sun. Why not? Yeah, I didn't label the other ones because they're basic. Now on this new layer, I'm going to go ahead and grab the oval tool. I'm going to hold down the Alt or the Option key as well as the Shift key. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make a little tiny circle for demonstration purposes. That is our Sun and that is what we're going to animate. Okay, good. I've gone ahead and selected the selection tool. I'm going to click on the sun and then I'm going to move it up here somewhere. So we're going to start the sun. I don't know. What do you think? Somewhere like that. Okay, good. Now the next step, and this is the critical one, and this is how it's different than using a classic tween is normally in a classic tween, you would go to the end of the shot, grab the sun, move it down here to the bottom left, and then just insert a classic tween. But that's not how it works with motion tweens. With motion tweens, I'm going to go here to the beginning one. I'm going to make sure I'm selected on one of the uh, frames. And now I'm going to go insert or create, insert, create motion tween. Wow, that was a mouthful. Now you'll see here that it's gone yellow. And that means that when I start moving it, it will now create a motion path. So now I'm just going to go to the last uh, frame. I'm going to left click on the sun here with my selection tool. And I'm going to just pull it off the screen here somewhere like that. And as soon as you do that, it creates pretty much a perfect motion path without any arcs, without any easing. It just goes left to or right to left. And if, it's, if I hit play, it's a uniform animation. And what I want to do is I want to show you a little more. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to bend the animation or bend this arc. Basically, we're going to arc it. Now, when I grab the selection tool, if I hover over here, nothing really happens. But if you hover near the line, you're going to see a little squiggly line underneath it. And that means basically that we can alter the path. So if I want to alter the path, say, somewhere in the middle around here, I'm going to left click on it and I'm going to pull down. And you can already see what's happening. This is the motion path. And instead of going in the straight diagonal, now watch, as I just sort of scrub through, it goes down and then it goes out. That is one way to change a motion path or use a motion tween and get a very cool, um, unique animation. Now, I can go back and hover on top of it again. And as I hover over any of these lines here, you're going to see here that I can go ahead and make more adjustments. So... If I wanted to pull it a little this way, pull it some more, easy to do depending on what you're looking for. And if you find that you're out of the screen a bit too much, you can just actually, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and change it from fit and window, which is 63% to 50%. And when I do that, you'll be able to see the remaining um, motion path here in the frame. So. Also, when you hover with using motion tweens, you're going to notice that sometimes you're going to get what looks like a uh, reverse L or a triangle, depending on which way you're looking at it. Let's go down here. When you get that, you can adjust the path, the end path. So you can adjust the path in the middle here and adjust it. And you can also adjust the ending and the beginning. So if I wanted this to start over here, for example, also something you can do. All right, good. So I'm hoping you guys are with me here. We're using motion tweens. Now it's time to show you how to ease a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the path here. And when you do that, I just clicked on any one of these paths. So any one of these motion little points. 
And you're going to see here under tweening, you go to frame tweening, and then you've got ease. And this is your easing value. Now for this one, I want it to, to ease in slowly. So I want the sun to slowly come in, and then when it gets closer to the end, it'll go back to normal speed. So I'm going to hover and pull this to the left. And what this does is it says easing value 100 in. What it does, and I'm going to show you, is it makes it slow to go in and then regular speed at the end. Let me hit play for you. Slowly in, and then it accelerates out to the end. So you can go ahead and adjust the easing. If you want it go the other way, where it's 100 out and slow here, then let's take a look at this. Regular speed, slow at the end. Now, I understand that this is very basic, so these are basic types of easing, but I wanted you to be aware of them so that you can go ahead and use those. Also, if you really want to go down the rabbit hole, you can do some more. You can go up here, and under Frame Motion Tween, you're going to see this little pencil. You can left-click on that. When you do that, you load up the Motion Tween graph here. You can actually go in and customize the easing. Now this is a pretty complicated uh, thing to do so I don't think I want to spend too much time here showing you all the ins and outs but you'll see here on the graph that you know as we go through you'll see the different lines here this is the X this is the Y and you can go ahead and make changes to them so I'm gonna double click on the X and actually you know what let's go ahead and go down here you're going to see apply ease for selected property. I am selected on the X axis and I have simple slow selected. If I left click on that, I can make changes. So this is the slow, this is medium, this is fast, this is fastest. You'll see here that we can go ahead and start to make changes. If I want to bounce and sprint, so I've got a bouncing animation. These are all pre-built and if you want to use them, go ahead. Oh, let's hit this. Let's see what this one looks like anyways. Boing. Okay, yeah, very cool. So this isn't so much easing as it is an animation style, but I wanted you to be aware of those that you can use those as well. But anyways, guys, that is the basics for motion tweens. Thank you for watching this tutorial. A ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.